in its 30 years of celebrating the 4th of July, the Pocket Parade had a first time participant today. KCRA 3's Michelle Bandor spoke with Sacramento and American World War II hero Ken Marr. He recently came back from Normandy where the, the world recognized him and other veterans on the 80 year anniversary of D-Day. Pride for the Pocket neighborhood in Sacramento. USA! And pride for American heroes on the 4th of July. Honored to have Mr. Ken Marr, a 99-year-old World War II veteran. People need to know about Ken. Ken Marr, a Chinese American drafted in 1943, a teenager living in Sacramento. I was an 18 years old kid, and I can't think of it as an adventure. Didn't, didn't know why I got involved in all these combats over there. Proudly, Marr participates in the pocket 4th of July parade, celebrating freedom he humbly helped preserve. I was still thinking about those people who couldn't make it back. I seen a lot of people die. Last month, Marr traveled to Normandy, France with his daughters. Standing around, when we got off the bus, they all saluted us and escorted us to the, to the cemetery. They all appreciated us, and uh, it was awesome. The Asian American Army veteran returned to the beaches he helped defend and eventually liberate France from the Nazis. He arrived in the days after D-Day. You have to be careful. They got this, the path going up the bluff there and walk off, mining here, mining here. If you made a mistake, you might step on a mine and kill yourself. <laughs> That wasn't the end. Six months later, Marr fought in the Battle of the Bulge, and then the Germans captured him, and he spent two months as a prisoner of war. They're not going to take us prisoner. They're going to kill us, but they didn't. I don't know why. And the World War II hero is here today to remind us why we celebrate our freedom on the 4th of July. There's no better way to thank him than to recognize him. In Sacramento, Michelle Bandour, KCRA 3 News. And there's precious few of them left with us right now. Well, the parade has been going in now for 30 years. And alongside the baseball teams and the bands was a World War II veteran who recently returned from Normandy. He was there to help mark the 80th anniversary of the D-Day invasion. KCRA 3's Michelle Bandour explains what that meant to him. We are honored to have Mr. Ken Marr, a 99-year-old World War II veteran. A new participant in the 30th annual Pocket Parade on the 4th of July. We thank Mr. Marr for his extraordinary service. The World War II Second Infantry Army veteran, German prisoner of war, and France liberator celebrates America's freedom he humbly helped preserve at 18 years old. At that time, when I get drafted, I got no choice. They want me to go, I'll go. Last month, 99 year old Ken Marr traveled to Normandy, France with his daughters for the 80th anniversary of the D Day invasion. He arrived in the days after the historic attack. The beach was all blown up. There were a lot of mines around, you know. You have to be careful. The Asian American Army veteran returned to the beaches he helped defend and eventually free France from the Nazis. White crosses, you know, miles and miles, white crosses. They stood there. Marr says it was an honor to be among the surviving World War II veterans and witness the commemoration. The French still remember all the uh, sacrifice they have. They all appreciated us. It was awesome. The fighting wasn't over for Marr after D-Day. Six months later, he fought in the Battle of the Bulge and then spent two months as a German prisoner of war. They could have shoot us back, kill all of us. But they didn't. Oh, it was a miracle. The World War II American hero is here today to remind us why we celebrate our freedom on Independence Day. There's no better way to thank him than to recognize him. In Sacramento, Michelle Bandour, KCRA 3 News. And we should mention that France honored Marr with the Legion of Honor Award. He also received the Congressional Gold Medal that recognizes Chinese Americans who contributed to America's role in the war. And he has a Bronze Star. Yeah, what a life. There are fewer and fewer of them here yes, left to precious honor. precious to hear the stories. It absolutely is.